<laughs> well, folks, when we're, uh, we're the best, during the best times on this set, uh, we're like a funny show about comedy, but now we have an actual comedian here joining us and a good friend of ours. <laughs> 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 hey. I didn't want to be the one who said it, but yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, Dave Nystrom is here joining us. He's from here, moved to LA, has been there four years, and is playing at Yuck Yucks throughout this whole weekend. Dave, tonight, welcome tomorrow back. night. Thank you very much. Good to be back. How's it going, man? Everything's fantastic. I love Vancouver. So I lived here for 11 years. I was actually born and raised in Thunder Bay. Um, but yeah, it's uh, always cool to come back here. Um, I yeah. love LA, but I love being back. We have a lot of, uh, you probably know a lot of news stories about the states, our perception of the states. Yeah. Uh, you're a Canadian living in the US. Uh, has it changed your jokes or your outlook? Um, you know, I don't really talk about being a Canadian a lot there because uh, they just kind of look at you like you have two heads when you, uh, they don't, that's all they can think about if you, if you bring that up. Uh, it seems to audiences down there, but uh, I've noticed there's been a bit of a shift in people's perception of uh, the future there. Everybody seems a little bit more upbeat because of the Obama thing, and, uh, and people love them. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> Speaking of perceptions, I, uh, I'm not standing next to Dave next time. This is, uh, this is it's like my giant. Two dollars and more director. You can send this young man to school. Doesn't this look like uh, Dirk, Dirk, our floor director, said that this looks like the cover of a Steinbeck novel? Yeah. So, <laughs> me, a midnight man, cowboy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> nice. I'm talking here! I'm talking! <laughs> But and uh, we should point out that Dave is wearing a scarf, and that's not just a fashion accessory. It's, you are actually cold, I'm freezing uh, cold. I don't. I turn. I grew up in Thunder Bay, and I should not uh, be. This. Well, because we always get razzed when we leave Vancouver and you go anywhere else in Canada, and you're like, "Oh, it's yeah. cold here," and people are, you know, they get in your face about it. But okay. you're in the warm spot of the country, yeah. uh, right? But I essentially in live 89. in. <laughs> Who says razzed anymore? Exactly. Hey, man, I live in the desert, so it's. This is a hard day for Nova. We're glad you're back. Do you mind joining us for our next topic and uh, join the round table here? Yes, let's Thank do it. You, right on, Dave. So here's a story claiming Americans are a global hazard. Toilet paper is apparently causing worse environmental damage than gas guzzling cars. According to a new study, Americans are the worst for demanding triple ply quilted cushioning for their behinds. And consumption of wood pulp is causing untold environmental problems. It's, I uh, just wanted to say thank you for uh, bringing me on as a guest when the topic is ass wipe. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's a nice start. But you know what? You're a three ply guest, Dave. Absolutely. In a two ply world. Absolutely. <laughs> The, uh, this is the uh, kind of like, it's, it's up there. It's probably the most embarrassing uh, environmental abuse that I can think of. Like, somebody's going to have to explain to their kids in the next generation, there used to be forests, but we wiped our asses with them. <laughs> <laughs> they don't exist this is anymore. This Fergal ends, isn't it? <laughs> what to call him on his reference? Ferngully? Come on! It, see, it seems like we're all about environmental, uh, 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 preserving the environment, but when it comes to personal hygiene for some reason, that trumps any environmental concern. Well, America in, in, uh, especially is all about uh, excess. Uh, having lived there, you see it, the portions at restaurants are ridiculous. And the asses, too. The asses are, are ridiculous. Well, the portions, you need more. Are relative to, uh, the they have three-ply tri uh, three toilet paper, and I just saw three ply toilet paper that has lotion added to it. Now, I don't know if I have a particularly rugged anus, and I don't use <laughs> the lotion, I movie, but I don't understand anus? why that's even necessary. He's taller than me. He's better looking. His <laughs> anus is more rugged. <laughs> why do I have to stand next to this guy? Every part of Dave's body is more rugged oh, than you. <laughs> you want to throw it here and lift the conversation? Well, I just think that people don't generally think of toilet paper when they're making their environmental decisions. You don't use, because it's a staple. You need it. You need toilet no, paper. You don't. You, yes, you you do. to, no, no, you don't. Because I don't want to stand next to you anymore. <laughs> there's, a, <laughs> there's a thing called the bidet, and uh, the Japanese are making leaps and bounds with their uh, technology of the bidet. And uh, but have you ever thrown a bidet at someone's house on Halloween, Graham? <laughs> Well, I've been put in my place. <laughs> I am oh, sorry, right. environment. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Dave. Uh, Dave, if you want to see more of Dave's appearing at Yuck Yucks tonight and tomorrow night, you can reserve tickets online or buy at the door. It's at the Century Plaza Hotel in downtown Vancouver, and we'll be right back. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. It was awesome. That was really fun. Really